connected to the message from channel messages. Of course, we're connecting with the bees. We're following our synchronicities and signs. We're on point. Card number one links us to the sun. Your source of life, heat, and life on this great earth. The masculine energy of the sun is strong. So we're going to feel the magnificence of the yellow healing ray penetrating deep into your cells, lifting them and all parts of you to create joy and happiness and to see the beauty that is all around you. Imagine your organs and every part of you smiling. How wonderful does that feel? And this is connected to the nine of wands and that's what's happening. To absorb the gifts and blessings of the yellow is to allow the vibrations of the happiness, joy, laughter, childhood, innocence, play, and the sun as the life force of our world. We need the sun's warmth to keep us alive and to create growth and vitality. To turn away from the brightest shades of the color spectrum is to turn away and hide from life itself. Instead, look again at how this potent color may help you in your life right now. One of nature's three primary colors. Yellow is a building block for many other tones and shades, just as the sun is a primary source for so many areas of your life. Let it lift your spirits and mood, reminding you of the perfection of warmth of a warm summer day. Imagine the scent of flowers in a garden, the height of a sunflower, or the blossoming of nature's beauty, all that made radiant by the sun. Know too that this image of the sun works directly on your solar plexus chakra to put you back into your power and centered place. Take a moment to think about your core strength. Does it feel supported and strong or weak and vulnerable? It needs, if it needs a boost, visualize yellow rays lifting any heaviness or fear and bringing in pure source energy from the sun itself into the center of you. Tune into your stomach as well and see if it's happy with what it has been fed, both in terms of food and thoughts, and all of which have to be digested here. We gotta think about that. Maybe there is a need, or maybe not think about that. Maybe there's a need for lighter, fresher food or bright, positive affirmations. The yellow ray creates a path back to positivity and well-being that is always available to you. Breathe in its beauty and light and let it bring you relief from all that is destructive or troublesome. And that's what we need right now. We need to heal from all that's destructive and, and troublesome in order to heal from isolation. The be at the center of this card symbolizes the need to reach out to others and be sociable and appreciate what others can bring to our lives. Bees are creatures that swarm together and work together for a common good. So this is highlighted to you now as well. The sweet honey nectar they produce by pulling together represents the reward of their effort, for their effort. Remember, we're making honey. We're not making sour vinegar. We're making honey. Yellow also reminds us not to be so serious all the time, but to have a childlike curiosity for life's riches and not fear life, but to find a place for doing what we love and being with those that make us content. And that's understanding. We're creating honey through our love. We're actually... We're healing from lust and we're actually together with love. We've created love with the creator that's divine. And our love helps us to transmute the negative with the positive. And it's connected to our flame. It's connected to our patterning. It's connected to us. It's connected to harmonization, negotiation, separate to together. Unity. No, the yellow ray is a reminder too that after any storm we pass through in life that knocks us down in sadness, the sun's energy can restore us back to our prolific best, happy in who we are and what we do. So we're going to restore our vitality. We're going to get a rejuvenation. We're about to. That's what's happening here. And this is understanding we're creating our best lives now. We're creating heaven now. We're living our purpose now. That the divine is within us. The divine is within us. And we're going to expand that. Okay.
Okay, we're having an ending here. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to heal from separation. We're going to heal from isolation. We're going to have an ending. And it's connected to our Eight of Cups challenge. So we begin creating anew by healing from isolation and meditation with the divine and we go within and there's Libra and the moon and we restore balance. We're creating peace here. We're creating peace in the pain and we ascend. And there's where we work with Aquarius and Sagittarius and this is connected to that lunar eclipse at the end of the month. And we expand and this is where we expand. We literally expand with purpose. We begin, we begin dreaming again and we, we work with our light. There's the high vibe dreams. Connected to creation. We've untwisted it. We're working with the feminine and we artfully expand with our truths to heal from the five of cups, our sorrows, five of swords. And look, there is Scorpio helping us to transform. There's our transformation. Let's just confirm it with heaven and earth. All right, guys, I love this deck. I love it. Okay. We're going to heal from our oppression with our truth. And it's positive and negative. And what we're going to do is we're going to expand with the water and the earth, the mother and the daughter. We're going to cut ourselves free from here. Remembering that this is connected to this and why we keep doing this. The Eight of Swords, what's happening we need to free ourselves from within. We think we need to free ourselves from without. We need to go within. That is what this means. And then we do it. We expand through the earth. There is the nine. And remember, this is all about healing from separation. This is about connecting to us again. We need to connect to us again. I really feel like we're, st we're stuck from a sh uh, shifting here. I just want to confirm it. What does this mean? What does this mean? It's like we're feeling helpless. Go with the flow. Go with the feminine.
this is connected to understanding that we don't need to continue to go on. This is about our emotional well-being. It's like right here, somehow we still think we're trapped. We need to go on. We can't stop. We need to understand this is about our emotional well-being and flying. Okay, guys, so the camera, of course, quit working, but we're just going to look at it like this. It gave me time to show you it like this. So, look, we're just supposed to say fly free, and, of course, that was hilarious when it quit working. So, it's connected to air, fly free, and, look, we're making the proper shapes. We're making the pop proper patterning here. We have the octahedron, right? The positive tetrahedron, the negative tetrahedron, the mas masculine and feminine this is working with Sagittarius and adding the positive charge to the negative. Now we're lit. We're activated. This is freedom. And it's connected to being able to go with the flow. And how are we going to go with our flow? We're going to tell our truths. This is the icosahedron. This is connected to the feminine, our emotional well-being. We're going to express something here. We need to express a truth. See, here we're not expressing. We're just, we're feeling trapped. We're feeling bound like we can't do anything. Look, we're feeling helpless. We're just to continue to go on, but because of this. But look, it's transformation time. And the transformation that's being offered is connected to water, the feminine, the mother, and our emotional well-being. Remember, we're honoring the feminine. We're going to go with the flow. All right? So in order to do this, remember, this is about the six of cups. We're going five plus one equals six and this goes back to channel messages and the restoration to innocence and pure authentic truth being connected to pure authentic innocence and this is healing from separateness okay the five of cups we're being gifted here healing through the earth going from feeling like this to feeling like this and it's by honoring our truths Everything from channel messages. There's the Queen of Swords. This is a shift in perspective. We need to shift our perspective. Look, that's how we're going to cut ourselves free. This is how we're cutting ourselves free. And remembering the sword is balanced. It's positively and negatively charged. Guys, this is where we expand. This is where we expand. Let's look. We're going to heal. We're going to expand from the earth. We're going to continue to work through the earth. And heal from the old to the new. This is where we're expanding from the old to the new. We're no... We're, this is where we're doing it. I want to see. I just want to see, guys. Hold on one sec. I just want to grab this deck. Okay, so... Let's see what's happening here. So what is shifting here? The perfect work... We're doing the perfect work here. We're going within. We're actually going within. Look, we've gone within. Oops, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Here, we're not within. Here, we're going to go within. We're going to enter that chapel. That's what's going to shift. We're going to go from without to within. And we'll enter the chapel. And we're going to expand there. And it's connected to spirit. It's connected to this expansion. Remember, this is all about healing with the mind. This is our reputation. This is all about... Ooh, didn't know it was out of the frame. Let me get it proper. This is just off the fly. We're dancing. Okay. Let's see here. It's the first card we got, or the second, yeah, the first one. Safety, strength, and power. Red, our root chakra. This is how we're going to feel with our environment. This is about expanding. And this is where we're going to start our next reading. We're going to start with this, and then we're going to expand with this message from the moon. Or vice versa, right, guys? We never know. <laughs> 